Hello everybody, welcome once again to one of my new videos that I'm presenting today in ON30. This is my ON30 DNRGW um, Western, number 135, 260 Mogul. And then behind it is a combine that is also made by Bachman. It's the one that I custom painted a couple, a few weeks ago uh, into the Pullman Green. I see it's a TCP-54-2. Um, Pullman Green it really is a really nice effect and um, what I've done today to that car is that I've gone ahead and I have added an LED bridge rectifier and a condenser to it so that the uh, LED will operate in both directions that's what you do with the um, bridge rectifiers for the condenser is to supply a more um, consistent uh, supply of power to the LED so it doesn't flicker quite so much if not at all so anyway I've done a little testing that seems to be working really well so um, let's give her a, sh a run and I can kind of see what I've done. It's a little bright today, but I think you can still see it pretty well. See, there you go, it's on. And it's staying on for a moment or two after. I'm gonna go backwards. You see it's not flickering at all. And that's exactly what I wanted. That means that every single car that I have that's I wanted to light is going to have to have this procedure done to it. So I'm going to detach the engine from it for a moment. Put the engine to the side. That makes the car roll a bit because of how this is around here. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. You can see how nice and bright it is even in the daytime. Um, not bad, huh? So anyway, this is a there's a five millimeter LED warm white LED in there with what they um it's pre-wired and it comes with the right with the um the uh you know you know what i'm talking about uh, i can't think of it right now but a resistor pre-wired into it that's why i buy them also that i have to do minimal sol soldering and whatnot and that five millimeter um led fits right in the hole that bachman provided for the original german wheat um, light bulb that was in there so now it's got um the ability to go in both directions and it will no longer flicker as you can see when I'm running it. So that's that's a good thing. Now I can do all the other cars. It's just taking it apart and doing them. So anywho, I'm gonna turn it off. You can see it kind of holding there for minutes. It's got a moment of charge. You see it's slowly fading out, and that's what gives you the little it's like a little battery. It doesn't have much of a charge in it, but it's enough for up to three LEDs to hold them up for about 15, 20 seconds after you turn out the lights, and it generally prevents flickering. I use these on all my G scale cars. As you've seen before and they work perfectly and one's enough so anywho thank you for watching this video and i hope you have a very pleasant day stay safe out there bye bye